Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show how to add a contact form to any web page in your website uh, using the CMS. So we're looking at our contact page here um, on our test website and we're going to add a contact form here now. So to do that let's go to the admin area and if you go to categories and look down here we have a category called contact and this is what we're using for our contact page. So I'll go over here and click modify. Um, now in the main content area we're going to put a special tag. Instead of putting normal maybe paragraphs of text we're going to put this special tag in and what it is is it's called contact underscore form uh, with two curly brackets and we just save that and when I go back and refresh the page we now have a working contact form. So if I click send on that we get some error messages um, because the form has to be filled out so I'm going to just fill this form out really quickly here now click send and thank you your message has been sent so what that did is, is it's actually sent uh, the message to the website owner um, and the email address that it's actually gone to, if we go back to admin um, and go to the uh, configuration here in the CMS whatever our e website email address here is sent to, that's the email address uh, that will receive those emails. So the CMS will send uh, all contact form messages to this email address, whatever we have specified. So let's have a look again at our contact page. Uh, we're using our um, default page template here at the moment, which is quite bare. So let's go back here to um, modify our contact page category again and let's just change our page template to our contact page template and save category. Now if we go back and refresh the page uh, we're using a more um, an actual page template that, that we had in Zara that is um, got all our contact information on it and we also now have our contact form down here which when we click on it it's fully working. So just looking at Zara, this is the contact page template. All I've done here is just add the dynamic area beneath it and that allowed me then to actually uh, put the contact form on the page.